Hey guys, welcome back to new video. In this video, we are going to create a simple bottom navigation view using Jetpack Compose. So this is our final product you can see over here. We have our home screen, we have our settings, notification and account. So we are going to build this simple application by using Jetpack Compose. So let's get started and see how we can do this. In our build.gradle module app level file, we need to add dependency for our navigation. So add this dependency and then go to your build.gradle project level file and here you need to make sure that your compose version is 1.1.1 and your kotlin version is 1.6.10 otherwise sometimes you when you compile your project it will give you an error so that's why you have to make sure that the your version uh, is exactly same as mine all right then go to your main activity and from here i am continuing with our main part so first i am going to create the four different screen so we have our home screen and within this i am creating one column having modifier fill max size and we have vertical arrangement which is actually on the center and then we have horizontal alignment which is on the center and within this column scope we want only a simple text which will tell us that this screen is belonging to our home okay and that's it this is for our home screen and second we have our notification screen so notifications within this we have a column which having modifier just like our home screen so modifier fill max size we have vertical al arrangement which is on the center and we have horizontal alignment which is also in the center reformat it and within this column scope i am going to create a column having modifier modifier fill max size i think my modifier spelling is wrong so now it is fine and after that we have vertical arrangement on the center and we have horizontal alignment to the center reformat it and within this column scope i am going to create a text which will tell us this is a notification screen reformat it now i'm just copy this uh, composable and paste two more times because we have one our account screen and the other one is uh, setting screen so settings copy this settings paste into your text and then after at the end we have something which is called accounts copy this accounts paste into your text all right so we successfully create our four different screen now it's time to create a sealed class which have the information of our route uh, label and our icon so let's create a sealed class for that so i am calling this notification item this is a sealed class so let me check where is my sealed class and here it is so this actually has information of our route and the second is our label which is a type of string and our icons which is a image vector and within this notification item we have object which is a home which will simply extend this navigation sorry this is not notification this is something which is called navigation item and it will extend our navigation item and first one is our route so i pass home second one is our label so i also pass home and the lastly we have our image vector so i use icons default home all right now second object is for our notifications now this is also extending our navigation item and in the route i use notification with small n and second we have label so i called sorry i am confusing between notification and navigation 
so it has notification and lastly we have also have our icons which is coming from our icons default notification reformat it so we have our home we have our notification and then uh, we have our settings now setting is also coming from our navigation item it has route name setting it has label which is also called settings and lastly we have our icons default settings okay and then after we have something which is called account also extending our navigation item and i am using route name account i using label name account and i use icons default dot account circle so for that i am going to create two different composable so the first composable which i am going to call uh, navigation and second composable i am going to call navigation controller controller okay and within our navigation controller we need to pass nav controller and here i am going to create a nav host in which i am going to pass my nav controller so here it will complain you because it require nav host controller so i am using nav host controller and now you can see our error will gone and instead of passing graph i am using start destination which will accept a route so our route is coming from our navigation item dot initially we want our home screen visible so for that i am using our home route open a lambda expression and within this we have composables and this composable is also require one route so give your route navigation item home route okay now if this destination and this destination is same then on that occasion it will run the composable which is present within this uh, lambda expression so if our route name is for our home so i am accessing my home composable okay just like our home we have our navigation item dot notification route and when it is happening we are going to use our notification composable or you can say run our notification composable after that we have our settings so i am going to call settings route and if it is a case i am going to trigger my settings composable and lastly we have our account composable so i am using account com route and within this i am going to pass our accounts composable so within our navigation first i am going to create nav controller which is initializing by using our remember nav controller block and then i am going to create a list of our navigation items so navigation items dot home navigation items dot settings navigation items dot notification and navigation items dot account reformat it and then after i am going to use scaffold in our top bar i am going to pass a top a bar import this top app bar and i am going to pass title which is a text and having bottom navigation view all right and then after in our bottom bar first i am going to create a bottom navigation having a background color material theme dot colors background and within this bottom navigation we have two variable the first variable is nav back stack entry which is initializing by using our nav controller dot current back stack entry as a state 
so we we use current back stack entry as a state because if any kind of updation is occur in our back stack then our composable is going to be recomposed so that is why we use current back stack entry as a state second variable is something which will hold us the current route so which is coming from nav back stack entry dot destination dot route all right now i am going to iterate all of our item and just creating a bottom navigation item so when our current route is equals to our item route then that means it is selected okay and then after i am going to use label which is a simple text and the text is coming from our items it dot label and we have our color property so if our current route is equals to it route then i am choosing the dark gray else i am going to choose a light gray all right so this is a simple level and after that i am going to use icon open a lambda expression and within this icon i am using icon composable pass the image vector sorry image vector which is coming from our items so it dot icons content description is null and the last parameter is tint so tint is basically representing the color of our icon so if our current route is equals to it dot route then i am going to choose color which is darker else i am going to choose the light one all right so this is for our icon now we have to write our on click logic so in our on click first i am going to check our current route if it is not equal to the item route then we are using our nav controller digging out the graph and using start destination route if it is not null then by using our nav controller we are going to pop this from back stack pass the route and second one is inclusive or exclusive so i am using inclusive all right now after that i am using nav controller to navigate and navigate where so it route and then after we have to pass the launch single top so i am using true so it will basically prevent us the multiple copies if you click any icon so multiple time then it will protect us to creating a multiple instance so that is why we pass true to this launch single top all right that's it from on click for on click and now i am going to pass this navigation controller in our scaffold so over here and pass our nav controller remove the scope from this bottom navigation item and rest thing is fine all right so now jump into your main activity and here just call your navigation and now it's time to run the application and see whether it is working or not so i am choosing nexus 5x and run this thing our application will run successfully so this is our desired result when you click your home your home screen will be visible when you click on the settings icon the setting screen will be appear when you click on the notification notification screen will be appear and when you click on your account the account screen will be visible so this is all for this video and if you like this video please subscribe my channel and thank you